Good evening, everyone. My name is Ken Nesbitt, and I am a children's book author and a former U.S. Children's Poet Laureate. And I'd like to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what it is that I do and why I do it. Specifically, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about poetry and literacy. That is to say, how poetry can improve your children's literacy by encouraging them to want to read and even to want to write. Now, I've written many, many, many books for children. Most of them have been books of poetry, uh, books like The Tidy Whitey Spider and The Armpit of Doom and My Cat Knows Karate and so forth. Now, I have written some other books for kids as well, books that are not poems, um, such as I wrote a picture book called More Bears. Uh, I wrote a bedtime book for babies called Kiss Kiss Goodnight and many other books. My newest book is this one here called My Dog Likes to Disco, which is a brand new collection of funny poems for kids. Now, the question that might come to your mind is why poetry? I mean, isn't poetry boring? Well, not necessarily. I recommend funny poetry as a terrific introduction for kids for a number of reasons. One is that poems, especially funny poems, typically are very short. They tend to be only about one to two minutes in length. So you don't have to do a lot of reading to, to get something out of it. And specifically with funny poems, every funny poem will make you laugh or smile. And you only have to read one page or two pages to get that big positive emotional reward. Um, specifically, there's a punchline on every single page. And kids figure this out very quickly. So when they read a poem, they may smile or laugh as they're reading it. They may, they may laugh when they get to the end of the page. And that little zinger, that little punchline at the end that makes them laugh, encourages them to want to turn the page and to do it again. Uh, but Unlike, say, uh, joke books, riddle books, poems are real reading with real vocabulary that cause students to, to stretch and to grow. But that real vocabulary, that, uh, that new vocabulary, new ideas and so forth, don't become showstoppers, but rather just little speed bumps because they know that there's a reward waiting for them at the end of every page. Now, I have one poem I'd like to share with you today to show you what I'm talking about. This is the title poem from my latest book, My Dog Likes to Disco, and it goes like this. My dog likes to disco on TikTok for fun. He'd rather start dancing than go for a run. My dog likes to wiggle and jiggle and jump. He bobbles his noggin and wriggles his rump. And when he's done dancing, this doggy of mine will pick up his cell phone and post it online. He puts up a video once every day so people can watch as he wiggles away. He started on TikTok for something to do, and now he's on YouTube and Instagram too. He's trending on Twitter and Facebook as well. I guess that I should have been able to tell. You see, when I rescued my dog from the pound, the sign said, purebred social media hound. So that's an example of the kinds of poems that I like to write for kids. So I would like to encourage you to help me in my mission to get kids to want to read and to want to write through poetry. So how can you help? Well, one thing you can do is read poems with your kids. Just look for books of funny poems in the library. You, look, you can look for my books or any other books of funny poetry, books by Shel Silverstein, Jack Perlutsky, authors such as this, or simply drop by my website. It's called poetryforkids.com. And on my website, 
I always keep at least a hundred funny poems right there on the funny poems page. Just click on that. You can not only read them, you can hear me read them, you can read along with me, you can read them to your kids, your kids can grade them, they can print them out, and there are also poetry games and lots of other, uh, oh, and lessons, and lessons, and lots more to engage your kids with reading and writing. Thank you.